little M building we have there on the right, soaring above us there. <clears throat> but the Hotel Grand Valley is still the tallest hotel. Um, at certain times of the year, they do parachute and parachuting exhibitions off the top. And once a year, there's also a race by athletes who run up and down the stairs here. And at certain times of the day, you can pay six euros to go up in the lift and it takes you up to the glass viewpoint there that we can see just at the top. Uh, where on a normal day, not like today where we have this uh, foggy, what they call the bruma, where it's the difference in temperature between the atmosphere and the sea, which is causing like this fog. Uh, but on a clear day from up the top there, they do say you can see as far as Ibiza. Shape of a water lily, and each petal represents one. 
one of the principal ecosystems of our planet. Its first-rate installations are used as a platform for scientific research and educational For the government of the kingdom of Valencia. Yeah? So it was always for the government, okay, for the administration. And nowadays is the regional government, the entire region of Valencia. There is something quite peculiar about this building because you can see two towers. You see that? 
and one tower was constructed in the 16th century, and the other one is the 20th century. So there is a difference in time between both towers of four and eight years. What do you think? Which one do you think is the old tower? Which one do you think is the oldest? It's a tricky question, eh? <laughs> yeah. It looks, it looks like it's this one. Yes, it looks because it's darker. Yeah, it's uh, more dirty. But the other one has been free not long ago. Or from here, baby. Show you also this model, you can compare this nice Italian model with the original building, and you also you have a map of the old quarter. Yes, um, what is this? This is the silk exchange. Ooh, the silk. What's that? Well, in the old days, the traders came here to buy especially silk. Silk was the main business here in Valencia from the 15th until 18th century. Yeah? Uh, we discovered the secret of the silk, the silkworm, yes? Nobody knew that before, only the Chinese. They said they got a monopoly, but we discovered it and we started to produce at a large scale silk. We got here merchants from all around Europe and the Mediterranean Sea to buy specially silk. That's why the name, the silk, it was built 15th century, it was our golden time, our golden age. That's the 15th century, Valencia was the biggest city, the most populated city in the Iberian Peninsula. 80,000 inhabitants. It's not a lot today, I know, but in the Middle Ages, was a lot of people. 80,000. Barcelona, only 30. Zaragoza, <coughs> only 20. Madrid didn't exist yet. Yeah? I talk about the 15th century. Yeah? So you can imagine the traders came here uh, through the door here at the other side, we're going to see later. Yeah? This building, yes. You can compare here with a, a courtyard here with orange trees. Later we're going to see when we go that way. You turn left, we're going to see beautiful orange trees. Today's closed because it's Monday. Yeah? Many museums close Mondays. Yes? But we're going to see from outside. At this room, to the left hand side, is the most beautiful room in Valencia. 24 columns inside, twisted columns like this, that opens to the roof like a palm tree. Yeah? It's really beautiful. You know, when Madrid fell, the Republican government moved here. Uh, but the last city who fell was Alicante. The last refugees, the refugees they left in the harbor. 
of Alicante to Algeria. But not everybody could escape. And since they make a concentration camp there, not far from Alicante, for 20,000 people, like 10% died because it was something It was like a little world war. Yeah, Italy and Germany. In Germany, some volunteers also British, the political side, Americans, French. Yeah. It was. Nobody knows exactly how many people died between half a million and one million. Carlos, where you left, where we discovered a very beautiful square. We're exactly in the middle of the pine. Yeah? It's a typical circle, you can see. Inner circle, perfect circle. And you have 34 apartments around. 34 apartments, yeah? yeah at the outside, at the outside, you can see different facades. Very irregular, but inside of a perfect circle. That was built in, four, in 1840. 1840. And you can see four streets leads to the central part of four streets in total. This is also the lowest point in the city. That's why we call it the hall. So it was a very dangerous place when we got the water floods in the old days from the river. So we got to avoid this area. I have seen pictures where you see the water coming very fast towards this ground square. Yeah? So we're exactly in the central part here. You see? La Plata de Lona. It looks like a bullring. A bit, yes? But the bullring is here. Okay? Right here, exactly in the middle. You have also three walls. The Roman wall, the Arabic wall, and the Christian wall. You see? We met here at the Serrano Gates, the Northern Gates. We have another, we have another left, the Quartz to the West. Yeah? And the bullring was constructed just outside of the Christian wall. And here you can see the closer big market, the central market, was built outside of the massive wall, but inside of the... But it's, it's, yeah. It's here, look, to your right hand side, uh -huh. yeah, it's the left side, 107 centimeter wide. <laughs> yeah, it's the thinnest house in Europe. Okay? Venice. The second window sometimes open, you can see the shower there. Yeah, but it's it's quite curious. You were ready the other day and you have some days. You can see her up here, below the cross, you can see the Holy Spirit, a pigeon, and below the pigeon you can see Our Lady, the Virgin Mary, rising to the heavens before she gets the crown, the coronation, yes? You can see the crown on top of the door, two letters, A, M. Ave Maria! You can see the banner 
piece of square where they are walking on it is named after her. The square of the queen. Yeah? Not the queen of Shea, no. The queen of all of us, the queen of heavens. Yeah? Because it's in front of the cathedral. We have also the bell tower. I told you it's named after Michael. Michaelens. Later from the other side, we're going to see a big bell on it that only gives the hours, yes? You can go up there if you want, 207 steps. If you don't believe me, you can count it. <laughs> I have been only once, it's enough for me. But you have a good view anyway, eh? of the entire city, and also from the sea. From there you can see the sea, four kilometers away, because you have no skyscrapers there in Valencia. It was used also as a watchtower against the enemy fleet to want to see it. That's from the enemy coming from the sea. Yes. This is the main entrance. If you want to visit, this is the entrance. Cost you 8 euros. We have here the Holy Grail of the Last Supper of Jesus Christ. If you don't believe, it's, a, it's about you, okay? 60 years old. It's quite old, yes? And we have three doors. Three. This is the oldest one. We call it the Puerta Romanica. Romanes style. The first style. You can imagine the cathedral has been growing through the centuries. And it's been here and there. So it's a mix of many different styles. Romanes, Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque. Classical this is a good example here, you can see the door, it's Romanesque. It's hard, it's hard circle, arches, and then up there you can see the Gothic window with the pointed arch, you see? So you can see both stars here. This looks to be So, uh, I told you before that the cathedral was built on top of the main mosque. Yeah? Not only that, before the main mosque we found here not far the Christian Visigothic churches from the Visigoths. And before that the Roman temples. So what you are looking now on it, it's a sacred place since it was founded. The city. Okay? More than 2000 years ago. The city was founded 130 years before Christ. Roman temple, the Visigothic churches, the Muslim mosque, and finally the Christian cathedral. It's really a beautiful cathedral, it's still also inside. It's a uh, it tells you the history of more than 700 years of the city of Valencia. So we have three doors. Romanesque door, which showed before the main gate, the main door with the uh, Lady of Assumption, yes? that's a Baroque, the 18th century, that will be the last one. And then in the south, where we're going later now, when we finish, is the Gothic door. Yeah? We've got three doors, each one a different style, each one goes to another square. Okay? Well, if you look well, on top of the door you can see seven catalogs, 14 heads, with the names of the three, you see that? These were the first benefactors for the construction of this cathedral. They came from North Spain, from Catalonia. They came with 300 maidens to marry the Christian soldiers who fought against the Muslims, to found new families. Yeah, it, is, it, go, it did go that way those days, it seems. Yeah. After the reconquest, we have to repopulate.
I'm a man of science. I'm a geologist. Okay. Well, yeah, you can read here the year of the foundation of this city. I call it very old city by the Romans. You can read here 100, 138 before Christ, anti Christian, yes? And that falls to the year 600. Uh, 16 since the foundation of Rome. Yeah? Because the Romans, they use another reference, the foundation of Rome. Yeah? So it was founded in 616 at Urbe Condita. By who? By this man, Consul Brutus in Spania. Eh? The name of Spain is coming from the Latin Hispania. You know the meaning of Hispania? The land of the rabbits. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, well, again, it's true of many rabbits, okay? Uh, so, I want to tell you, that fountain there, you see the fountain? That man in the middle, that's a river, Turia. Okay? The river Turia, surrounded by eight women. You see the eight women? The eight irrigation canals, the eight brothers coming from Father River. Turia, yeah, that's the meaning of this fountain. Every Thursday at 12 o'clock midday, you see that door on the other side, that big wooden door there? Nine judges come out. You can see a picture there of nine people in black sitting. You see that? The nine judges of the water court. What of water? water. What's that? Nine judges. They decide everything about water. Eh? One for the river and eight for the irrigation canals. Nine in total. Yeah? It's the oldest institution still in use in the world. More than 1,000 years. Yeah? It was declared world heritage by human by UNESCO. Yeah? So it's very important. Every Thursday at 12 o'clock in front of the Gothic door yeah? of the cathedral.